Good morning, sir. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing, Justin? Uh, Andrew Shriver, 96887, from the Public Defender for Ms. Bisner. Your Honor, we're in receipt of this indictment for more than 24 hours. We'll waive its reading, waive any defects in service, and enter a not guilty plea. Uh, Judge, we ask that our office uh, remains appointed in this matter and be heard at the bond. All right. And bond? Uh, Your Honor, Ms. Bisner has no criminal history whatsoever. Uh, Judge, as far as I've been able to discern, not only does she have no felony record, <coughs> excuse me, she has no misdemeanor record whatsoever either. Your Honor, there's no question that a uh, tremendous tragedy took place here. Uh, but uh, without litigating this in the arraignment room, Judge, we uh, have reason to believe that Ms. Bisner is not necessarily the individual responsible for this. However, in any event, Your Honor, Ms. Bisner is not a flight risk. Uh, she has family in Vermilion. Uh, her mother lives there that she would stay with. She had been living on the west side of Cleveland, but unfortunately has lost that. Uh, housing as she's been in jail for the last month, Your Honor. She does have three other minor children. They're not in her custody. There is, of course, as you'd imagine, a pending CFS case. Uh, we've talked about that, Judge. She's not a flight risk. If she does not appear for this case, she's going to lose the three children in the other case, Your Honor. She's not a danger to the community. She has no priors. This was not, uh, I don't think anyone, even the state, would argue it's a purposeful act. She's not out here causing problems or putting other people in danger or trying to hurt anyone, Your Honor. We'd ask the court to consider even a 10,000, 10% bond. We have no objection to uh, GPS zone or anything like that if the, the court uh, seeks to ensure that Ms. Bisner is returning to court. But uh, the $50,000 bond that currently exists is essentially no bond. She's been in jail for a month. The family does not have that kind of resources. There's no universe where she's able to make the 50000 so, Judge, we're asking for 10,010%. Uh, in addition, Your Honor, we just learned recently Ms. De Ms. Bisner's father, who is elderly, is in the hospital. Her mother has dementia. Uh, there's, we're asking the court to consider allowing Ms. Bisner to post this bond and take care of her family while this case is pending, Judge. Your Honor, the state requests at least a recommended $50,000 bond as well as GPS standard monitoring. As the court's aware, the victim in this case was a 14 month old child that had special knowledge. Your Honor, just one last thing for what it's worth. She is working with our social work department as well if there is some issue with drugs or alcohol. Uh, ben Miller, the head of our social work department, uh, assigned himself personally to the case. And, and as the court's hopefully aware, he has a very good track record of ensuring that uh, our clients are fulfilling their obligations and showing up to court, Judge. Thanks. Did this baby die at home? I'd like to check, Your Honor. I believe so. Yes, Judge. I believe so. Bond will be set at fifty thousand dollars cash, surety property. There'll be no contact. Your judge will be Judge Wanda Jones, and your first pretrial date will be March first at nine thirty in the morning. Thank you. GPS standard monitoring. You're asking for. Judge, we'd ask at least on home detention. She's got again. If she does make the bond, just to help care for uh, her father and her mother. Judge, it would be GPS standard monitoring with uh, exception uh, to be able to travel to uh, the person that she's taking care of. All right. Thank you. Driver, you have an address. What's that, Judge? You have an address. Uh, yes, Your Honor. For the care. I'm sorry. For the person she needs to care for. Yes, Judge. Uh, not currently on me. It's in my office. I can email uh, S. Please do. Yes.
We're going back to another jail, case number 667595, co-defendant B, Christopher Burley. Co-defendant has been assigned to the docket of Judge Saffold, public defender's office, previously assigned. Mr. Burley also has an initial appearance case, which is... 